properly petted. And um, I was thinking about the ramifications um, just now. And um, see, as it is now, um, when people shoot a drug dealer with convictions, they just leave his body in the street. And then it goes on the murder um, roster, you know, in a town, in a lot of towns, you know. And, um, but when, uh, let's see, here's the thing. Like, Sherry would cooperate with my dad, with, not my dad, um, with Bill, um, to get rid of me um, into, you know, like, say, oh, that's not Holly, that's, that's not the real Holly, I don't know who that person is, that person is confused, that person can't identify themselves, they're so confused, I don't know, they just learned a social security number, you know, just out of the air, and that's, that's not my daughter, and then, oh, but this is, this is my daughter, this person who paid me however much money, this person is my daughter, you know, Okay, so we need to, when, when people with a clean record die, they need to be the ones that the police find. And we need to, you know, shine a spotlight on the location and say, this person is officially dead. Um, if an unknown person shows up at a mental institution, there needs to be coordination we say, no, that, that is exactly who that person is. This, is. this is that person. This person is nowhere else but in this hospital. And, um, but when uh, someone who has drug felonies, violent criminal record, that kind of person ends up dead. Nobody needs to hear that. That is a self-cleaning oven. But when the innocents, and innocents are people who are not engaged in significant criminal activity. Everyone shits their pants when they're a kid. But, um, you know, people don't move into the pigsty, you know. And, um, 